Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Night Watchers Paranormal Australia. Pete, where are we tonight, mate? We are at a location in Brisbane, a cemetery. I'm not going to tell you where it is because it it's a it's a pretty full-on place. So mm. it is a uh, cemetery in Brisbane. Yeah. We actually have a special guest with us tonight. Yeah. This is Marnie Steele. Now, Marnie, do you want to explain to our viewers where what where they can find you and what you're about? Okay, hi guys. Um, I have a page on Facebook. It's called Let's Get Real. I started that um, about seven years ago uh, after I had um, quite a serious accident and I, I looked at what was available on social media and I thought that I should put a little bit of positivity out there. Yep. But as I you know, have progressed in my spiritual journey, it's sort of gone more into all of the aspects that I can gather about us living this human life and this human experience. So psychology, um, medicine, yep. history. Um, you know, different religions and um, philosophies and things like that. So, yeah. um, trying to teach people how to be aware of energy yeah. and remove fear um, as much as possible yeah. because I think that energy can manifest itself as either fear or love. So, if we can try to keep ourselves in a balanced and moderated state, yeah. then we're going to attract to ourselves things that are going to benefit our journey and our growth here sure. rather than, you know, trying to. Um, push through obstacles and stuff like that that we actually sort of create ourselves through yeah. you know past traumas and things like that so um, energy awareness um, I think that in my perception all human beings have the ability to tune into some sort of um, intuitive or empathic ability yeah. and um, we all find that in our, in our own sort of way yeah um, but yeah I, I'm, I've been talking about this sort of stuff online for quite some time yeah. and um, it's really good to actually get out with you guys and, and have a go where I'm doing a, a live investigation I, yeah. I, I do a lot of stuff online and a lot of distance sort of um, work with people and this yeah. is sort yeah. of the first time I've gone sort of yeah in person you know at live sort of thing yeah. so this is great awesome. Awesome. No so that's what we want to go, uh, do guys is bring money out we're trying to bridge that gap between the known and the unknown yeah mm. between science and the paranormal yeah exactly what do they have to do then we want you guys to like the video subscribe to the channel and share it with all your mates and let's get into it man i reckon we uh check this place out awesome all right <laughs> All right, guys, what are we doing? All right, we're going to go for a wander through the cemetery here. We're going to see if Marnie picks anything up. If not, that's all good. We're just going to have a walk through anyway and check the place out. And then uh, we might um, head up this way. Then we might um, crack out the spirit box and see if we can make communication. Yeah. And then uh, we might um, head up this way. Then we might. Um, and then uh, we might um, head up this way. Then we might. Um, This is a very old cemetery, isn't it? Look at this, guys. It's unreal. Now, that must be old. Tomb, uh, headstone's gone. You were talking about it before with the movement of actual physical bodies over time. Yeah. Um, you know, ground erosion and, and, and the water transfer and things like that. A cemetery of this age to still be, it's actually quite in, in, good, in, in a good um, state, really. But you're going to see this kind of movement yeah. all over the place. But when you think about yeah, the, the slide of the land, yeah. Yeah. you're going to end up with the bodies that were buried here quite considerably yeah, further yeah. away from where their headstones are. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm. Look at that, guys. It's all fallen over. This is a... Me, personally, I really love... And I know I was talking to you, Marnie, that cemeteries are really peaceful. Yes. You know? I yeah. find them a very, very peaceful place. Um, my whole life really i've spent a lot of time sort of going in and out of um, cemeteries i was yeah. out in the middle of um, nowhere australia for a while for a job that i had and not far from the hotel i was staying in there was actually a cemetery there and i used to go and sit there and have lunch some days because i worked long night shifts and stuff and i actually found it quite a de-stressing place to go yeah so i think that that's important for people to understand i think the the mode that you go into a place like this in mm. really is going to affect your experience. Yeah, for sure. So. What about you, Dan? Oh, I agree wholeheartedly. It's no, how, how do you place. feel with uh, cemeteries? Oh, very peaceful. Yeah, um, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's definitely somewhere that you can go to and um, 
see a lot of people when they go to a cemetery they get spooked out by it you know because mm. uh, of what it is you know? mm. and also the movies and things like that but yeah movies don't help do no, they no exactly but i actually find them very peaceful uh, i have no worries in walking around in a cemetery on my own or with anybody else so, yeah um so yeah um i think it's just becoming why well, it is i guess you know? yeah. So, yeah you start uh, talking about people doing a lot of the a lot of people in the paranormal I mean, it depends which way they're they're coming at it from. If you're looking for a fear factor, then they're going to have to put things in place to bring that fear about. Oh, yeah. that's a good point, eh? Exactly. Because fear sells. Yeah. I mean, oh, definitely. You know, if, if, definitely. If our news is anything to go by, we know that fear sells. Oh, 100%. You know, good news is 5% of the, of the of the coverage and 95% is fear, so. Yeah. yeah. Guys, I'm actually using the SLS app on the... Uh, the um, Ghost Tube uh, SLS app tonight. Yeah. Thought I'd crack it out and give it a go. Uh, we don't usually use it that often, so no. let's see how we go with it. There's a whole family in here. Yeah. That's pretty fun, isn't it? Oh, 91 years. We saw us. We saw up uh, one of our cemeteries up home um, on the Sunshine Coast. They've actually got these um, kind of like. You know how you have the long uh, rectangle boxes? Mm. But they had five of them stacked on top of each other. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was pretty intense. Well, they, they kind of work on the same theory, but going down, when you've got entire families like this, um, you've got a side by side and they will go down. Yeah, and two guys, we haven't been to this cemetery before, so it's really interesting, actually. It's actually a real peaceful, like I've been to some cemeteries. We had a cemetery up home, yeah. Chester. Oh. And it's, it's a bad feel in that cemetery, isn't it, Dan? Yeah, it's very negative. Down in one certain area. Area, yeah. Up the top is fine, down the bottom is bad. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of that has actually got to do with what's going on in the cemetery as far as That's people's it. interaction with that as well. Yeah. So you get people who use cemeteries as a place to perform ceremonies that go more towards... If, if this is the way that you believe in things, yeah, incarnation of demons and spirits and, and yeah. negative entities, whichever way you want to perceive that. Yeah. If you've got a bunch of people, human beings putting out EMF, are going to leave a trail wherever they yeah. go. Yeah. So if their trail that they're leaving is negativity, then that's going to be yeah. there. And obviously, if you're talking about energy, negative attracts negative. So yeah. you're going to end up with a, an, a mass. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Well, it's funny you say that, actually, because that cemetery... Um, so we, we, we had a chant come through mm. and uh, the power of Satan was one of the uh, EVPs. That, yeah. through as well. that was pretty full on actually because yeah. that chant was a disembodied chant. Yeah, yeah so it's a like residual energy. So yeah, there's yeah. Been, been people there doing that. Yeah. That would be my perception of that. Yeah. There would be a group of people that have been there doing that and they have layered that atmosphere with that. Yeah. And what you're picking up is that, that you're actually getting a physical manifestation of energy that's been left behind rather than it being people in the cemetery itself that's caused by humans after the fact coming in and specifically for that purpose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. I totally agree with that, actually. These are pretty cool, guys. Look at these. But they It kind of does sad me a little bit when, you know, you come into a cemetery and they're like this. Yeah. What? What? Look at this. Corner of that fence, ready? Gone. I had two of them standing right there. Mm. Two of them standing right really? there. Let's see if they've moved. Yeah. They're not there, there. Right here, mm. see where the light's shining in? Right there, I had two right there, guys. standing there. Actual full humanoid sort of shape. Oh, shots. really? Are you feeling anything, man? When we were up there before, before we started, I, I thought that there was something actually around us or behind us. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he said that, I actually feel that they've come around again and behind us on the right so for me personally when i pick up things on the left or the right mm. to me Damn. that means behind that, check behind yeah i would i've been in this area over here to my right um, <coughs> when sorry guys when, when i pick up things on my left or my right it, it's generally speaking the the age of of the spirit so if it's a if it's a person that's in, in need now in their life in their physical yeah, body yeah. i'll get their energy coming oh, on okay. the left whereas yep, yep. if it's a body i mean if it's a person that's passed over mm. that's still attached to their physical life it'll come in on the right okay and so yeah i think that <coughs> there is there was one one specific oh here it is here, look, 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 look. yeah come here Pete, get the camera 
Oh, yeah, oh. see it flush? Mm -hmm. Look, ready? Oh, hang on. There. Oh, there. <coughs> it's the same. That's on the fence there, guys. Or is it the fence? No, it was no, it was actually on the grass. It was actually here on the grass area when I first <coughs> saw it. Oh. And then it was on the corner here. It's moved. Are you there? If you are there, come and come and say hello. Come and walk in front of here. We won't hurt you. We're here. Becoming love, peace and respect. <coughs> Becoming love, peace and respect. <coughs> <laughs> you can oh. dive bombs out. Oh. <coughs> Sorry, it's a lot, guys. Yeah. I'll just step back. Oh. That's actually a good thing to put out there as well. <coughs> we're easier to interact in a mm. peaceful and loving way. Oh, that's how we always say. Um, every 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 investigation we do, we always say. Going that way. Becoming love, peace, and guys. Becoming love, peace, and respect. We're only here to communicate with you. We wish you no harm. My name's Dan, and we've got Marnie and Pete. So if you are here, we just want to communicate with you. That's all we want to do. And once again, we come in love, peace and respect. What do you reckon we go up there and do maybe a uh, spirit box? Yeah, maybe a spirit box session. Yeah. yeah. No? Yep, you right. happy with that, Marnie? Yep. That's yep. Good. If I follow you, man. You lead the way. <clears throat> oh, it's wet here. <laughs> <laughs> what I might do... Look, there's a big oh, stick here. Oh, oi! It's right here. Oh, it's right on that. It's right on there. Look yeah. at this. Look at this. She's, she's, yeah, Marnie's just picked up on it. Picked up there, on and it. And there is something there. Come, there, look. Can you see that flashing? Yep. yep. That's not the gravestone itself. It, it, well, on this it could be, because it's got actually got markings on there that could be picking up. Picking like up a, the moisture, or it looks yeah, like it could be humanoid. It could, yeah, it's there. picking up something that could be like a humanoid sort of shape. I just saw something move sort of there to there like that out of the corner of my eye. Oh, so. wow, okay. All right. But it's just weird that that picked that picked up. It, picked it up. Oh, yeah. Mm. And you are right on the money there, Marnie. Yeah, yeah. What I might do, here's some go uh, cat balls, mate. Oh, yeah. Go and set them up over there. Yeah. And here the... Um... Spot. Mm. Oh, There's definitely you. some movement around here. So, thank you. If you did touch that ball, thank you very much. How you activated that is exactly how you do it. Are you able to touch the other one over there, please? I've got two. I've got one on that side and one on this side over here. Are you able to touch that one for me? You guys, we've got the rim pod out as well. Pete, just grab the rim pod. If you come up to this one here. You just touch it like this and come near it, it'll do that. Alright? Can you come and do that for me? These these things won't hurt you. They're just here to let us know that you're here. So the ball there, the ball there, and the rim pod there. A lady that I feel that came through to me, she was saying that all I got from her was that she was a school teacher yep. and that she was very here and that she'd come and talk to us. So I'm kind of wondering if that happens to be you and you're here, it would be nice for you to come and see us and you've obviously got something that you'd like to share with us. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The school teacher lady that came through to Marnie, mm. if you are here, can you... Can you the school teacher lady that came through to Marnie, can you come and tell us your name please? You got this going in reverse? Yeah. I am? Yeah. So if there are any spirits here, especially the school teacher spirit, we'd love to hear from you. Gadget that I haven't, I've only used myself. Where is it? It's it's a... What the hell was that? What? Um, sorry. Oh, it's a rat. Look out, come back this way, oh. guys. A rat? Yeah, it's just, rat is just gone into the. I saw something move over there, it was a big rat. It's gone into the grave. <laughs> nice. Was it, what was it that we just saw here? 
What did Pete just see? Oh, did that just say rat? It's a pretty big one. Maybe we should Ooh. take you up there as well. Yeah, just that sort of um <laughs> They're good fun, the good old K2. The good, good thing about the K2 with the rim pod is that um all the, all the ghost the uh, ghost ball, the cat ball, whatever you call it, is it's like a double confirmation. Mm. So if that goes off it spikes. While, while that goes off, then, um, oh, you go on the side of it. Yeah, it should be right like that. Yeah. Can you come up and touch this device here? If you touch this device here, you just put down, it'll line up with some pretty colours and let us know that you're here. Can you come and touch it for us? Are you going to get that really thick humidity? Yeah. It's got very sweaty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the humidity is just fire, big time, yeah. To the spirits that are here, I'd love to see you activate one of those devices there on the wall. What'd that say? One of these here. Sometimes, Marnie, when we're out on an investigation, it does take a little bit for that activity to start. Oh, yeah. I think that that could also be a lot with the, 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 comfort, um, the comfort factor. Yeah. They have with you. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people, I mean, when you see things in, in sort of etheric layers around us, so working on the same premise as the EMF that humans emit from mm. us, if you think of it as, as yourself, as your energy is, is progressively going out from you in layers, yeah. then energy that's around you that's sensing its attraction to your energy yeah. for lack of a better term they would come in in incremental pieces like that as well oh 100 percent and now it's gotten cold that thick yeah. feel is gone it's gone chilly all of a sudden can you come and touch these devices here we'd really appreciate that you did we might actually turn that off and try a necrophonic I know that you guys wanted to be in this area here, but I still keep getting to the left. Yeah, well, yeah, we, the can left. Go yeah we can go yeah. wherever you want to. Okay. Yeah, we'll go wherever you want to pull us to. So, all right, guys, we're gonna head this way now because Manning's being told, uh, felt feels like we've got to go this way, so we're gonna go check it out. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, up to the individual to interpret that okay. and then try to get the message across. Yeah. Now we're we're gonna let you lead the way tonight. Where you just feel make sure we've got all our gear there. Yep. Sorry man, I was just checking we had all our gear back there. Oh, that's, that's a really different feeling, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Wow. These look a lot older too. Mm. So you reckon here? Yeah. Is it just me or is there an odour here as well? Yeah, I actually got a whiff of that just before. Mm. Doesn't smell good. I can't smell anything at the moment. I like trees, I'm oh. getting thin with nutrition. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here we go, look. Yeah, here we go. K2. Now I'll just turn this down a bit. Oh, we hit the orange. Thank you very much. That's would you, Marnie, you, you picked that up. Would you like to come back and do that again for us? Did you catch that on camera? Oh, yeah, I did just towards yeah. the end, yeah. Wow, that smell is bad. Mm. I can't smell it. Far out, I like can. It. It's it real. It smells like decay. Yeah, mm. pretty much. Can't you smell that? And no. it's got an, that, you know, that smell that goes, you, that smell that they use to try to cover up that smell. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, something. Mm. Yeah, it's. It's actually it's really like quite really strong. Rotten, yeah. I can't smell it's it at a all. Sickly sweet really? smell over the top of rotten smell. Yeah. Mixed together. Mm. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's strong. Yeah, I think I'm starting to get it now. Wow, that's a, that's a smell. Yeah, I think I'm starting to get something. Ooh. Yeah, I my nostrils. K2. Yeah, the slight flicker on the green. We hit the orange earlier, just before. Yeah, there we go. Oh, here we go. Yellow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Well, if we're getting activity over there. Maybe you put the cat ball on the corner yeah. of that one there. Oh, sorry. And it's not anything to do with where I see. Here we go, look. There we go. Hitting the orange. Thank you very much. Yeah, and again. Yep. Hitting the yellow. Sorry, not the orange. What do you reckon? Do I, uh, yeah, I reckon so. Hey, did you. Is that stuff? Oh, oh. Ah, oi. Yeah, here we go. Look. Yeah, is that from when you just no. put it down? No, it went off. I watched it. I waited there until it went off. I'm going to go and put this down with that. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. To be in the same sort of zone here. Wait, you, you picked that. Now that smell's gone. Yeah, it's just It's vanished. completely gone. I can't smell anything. I think that. See, that's another. That is another one of the sort of clear abilities of it. There's. They, they're known as clear ability, clear sentience, clear audience. You know, there's, there's labels that people are given to these different senses that people have, and, and one that's actually quite more common than others is actually the smell. Okay. One. So people will, will actually pick up a smell, they'll pick up a smell like, um, say their father passed away, it'll be their, their father's cologne. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. The smell. Yeah. Then, question for you why is it that decaying smell? Is it because we're in a cemetery? I think that it's going to be whatever you. Uh, so we're we're looking for action or interaction with us, yeah, yeah. and we're in a cemetery. Okay. So to us, that's a very over the top obvious smell. Mm. Do you see yeah. what I mean? Like that yeah, wasn't yeah. just a, a light whiff. That was actually like the whole air was yeah, it was filled it, with it. It was bad. Yeah. yeah. So that's going to get our attention, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Actually, and that was really. As soon as we started to smell it. We started getting action on the cake too. Yeah, yeah, so they've got us a, to stop with the smell. Yeah, mm. using using smell. It was a really predominant smell too. Yeah. It's strong. Yes. And now Nothing. I can't I can't smell it. Can it's, you? No, it's completely gone. Actually, I'm getting something slightly floral even. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm getting. Yeah. Like a florally sort of smell. Mm. Holy, yeah. I've never done an investigation going by my nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> Same man. That's, Follow that's, the nose, the wow. nose, nose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but no, that, that smell, I'd have to, it, it was, I would say that I've smelt that smell before, but it was in a hospital, and I used to call it the smell that they used to cover up the, the smell of death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a very thick, sickly sweet smell, but over the top of like rotting mm, decay. Mm, mm. So the, the two smells mixing together, I don't think you can really replicate that without no. the same sort of action happening. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing, like you had that smell of decay, yeah. and then that sweeter smell on, it was like side by side yeah. on top of each other. Yeah. 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 Then, like, yeah, we're just getting these like floral notes coming through. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. it's gone. It's nice for a <laughs> no, nicer than what we <laughs> Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to do a necrophonic app. We didn't get too much on the spirit box because of where we are. Mm. Um, there's a lot of radio frequencies in this area, so we've got to be careful. So we're going to use a necrophonic and see what we get out of that. We also might later on get Marnie to hold the dowsing rods for us. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And then we'll do a dowsing rod session. Keep so, in mind too, guys, with this uh, necrophonic app, for anyone that doesn't know, it does have a lot of built-in voices that yeah. it spits out. So we're, we're ignoring them. We're listening for the intelligent responses to our questions. Anybody that is here, we come in love, peace and respect. We just want to communicate with you. We have a device here in Pete's hand. Now, if you come and talk into this, we'll be able to hear you. Also behind him, on the tombstone here, we actually have two cat balls. If you touch those little balls there, they'll flash with different colours. And that device up there on the top, if the black one, if you touch that, we'll go near it, it'll actually light up with different colours as well. If there are any spirits here, can you first uh, off tell us what your name is? Yeah. Is that right up? Yeah. Do you want to hold it? If you are here with us, what is your name? Hey. 
if there is a spirit here or energy, we smell a really odd foul odor. Now, can you tell us if it was you by saying either yes or no? Let's go straight for the juggler, right? Yeah, go. If there are spirits here with us, how many living humans are standing right here now? Smell. 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 Hear that? Yep. Sometimes there's a delay in getting responses. What type of smell was it? Now if we pick up something like that, or something like that, sweet. That'd be interesting. How many of us how many of us living humans are standing here right now? Let's say three. No, I don't think so. Be bit hard with the truck down past. Yeah. Dude, hold this a sec. I've got to scratch the back of my head. Something about doing cemeteries, the bugs. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. What we're going to do right now is we're going to do a spirit box session right here because Marnie's picked on picked up on something out this way. So we've come along here to see what we can uh, pick up. So we've got our cat balls and our K2 meter sitting up here on top of the uh, tombstone. We'll see if anything happens on them while we're doing this. Also, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and please share our content. Get us out there. So we'll start this up and get this going. If anybody's here with us right now, we come in love, peace, and respect. We wish you no harm. We just want to communicate with you. If you come up to this device in Pete's hand here, we'll be able to hear you. But you just got to speak loud and clearly and slowly into it. Now, what was the name you said? Sarah. Sarah. Is there a Sarah here with us tonight? If you are, please let us know by touching any of these devices on our tombstone here or by speaking into our device here. Is there a Sarah here with us right now? Please say yes. If you need energy, you can use Dan or mine. Really focus and say Sarah. Say your name. If you are here, you come up and touch this device in my hand and let us know that you are here. It will light up with some different colours. It won't hurt you. Can you come and touch this device in my hand, please? Anybody that's with us right now? Ooh. Now, how many living people are standing here? I need an exact number. Be clear, how many people are standing here? How many people are standing here? How many people are standing here? Yeah, 
any other good spots here that you think that would be worth checking out? And Hang on a second. Oh. Sorry. 42. Hey, what'd you say? Say that again. Sorry. Listen to this. What Sorry, I'll tell say? you why in a sec. Now explain why. Okay, so when <laughs> when we were discussing coming on this on this thing, one of the first things I kept getting through repeated was 40. 40 plus 1 plus 1. Oh. With that, I saw a gigantic sort of rectangle. It would have been at least 4 metres by 2.5 metres. Yeah. And it was mud with twigs and, and, and stones and stuff in it. But it was maroon with mud. Okay, guys, we're down here where these 42 prisoners were buried. The 40 plus one plus one. Now, we're getting Marnie here to hold the dowsing rods for us. And we're gonna ask some, well, I'm gonna ask some questions. The first question I'm going to ask, but first, what we want you to do is cross for no and open for yes. So I need you to go back to the center. That's the shot, keep going, keep going. Keep going, you're nearly there. A little bit further. Now the first question I wanna ask you, is there any of the 42 spirits? <laughs> That's a no, that was a pretty firm no. So is there any of the 42 spirits here? Now reset for me, open up, open up for me. Open up, come on, you can do it. You can do it, open up. Just need you to reset for me. Thank you. Now, are there any of the 42 spirits here? Cross for no, open for yes. Really need you to open these if you're here, or cross them if you're not, if there's another spirit here. I would say that would be a yes. Try and open the other one for me as well. You've opened one, try and open the other one. Come on, you can do it. Thank you so much. To the spirits that are here, have you been here for a long time? Open for yes, close for no. Keep going, thank you. Now I want you to close them again. Reset them for me. Come on, you can do it. Reset those for me. We really appreciate what you're doing. Thank you so much. Now I need the other one reset too. Come on. <coughs> thank you, keep going. You're doing well. Reset it for me, just push it closed. Thank you, perfect. Now, was it the 1930s that you were buried here? Cross for no and open for yes. You can do it, you've been really good and we really appreciate it. So cross for no and open for yes. Wow, that's a no. Mm. Now I'll get you to reset for me. I need you to reset it. Take it back to the middle. Thank you so much. Keep going. Bit more. Get the other one to reset. You can do it. Reset it for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, that's it. You got a question, Dan? If you are here with us right now, can you please point the rods in the direction to where you are standing? Whereabouts are you standing right now? Left. So is Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you reset them for me? <coughs> reset them. Reset them. Back to the center. And the other one. And the other one. Can you put the... Thank you. <laughs>
Yeah, the bugs are bad, guys. <laughs> That's why I'm shaking around a bit here too. If you're here with us, with a yes or no answer, do you like having us here? Cross for Cross no. Cross for no. Yep. And open for yes. yes. Oh, yes. Thank Beautiful. you so much. Now I'll get you to re reset them again for me. Wow. Thank Beautiful. you so much. Perfect. Now, are you a male? Cross for no or open for yes? Are you male? Really draw my energy and Dan's energy if you need that. But we need you to either cross, oh, you're a female. I was gonna ask if it was the female. Yeah. I was gonna ask. So, the female is the one with the headstone or was it no. coffin? Uh, the, I'm not, oh, I can't remember that now. Um, no. But I know that that's over there. Yeah, okay, it was the coffin. Yeah. So I'll get you to reset it for me, please. I wonder if he's here. Now, I need another question. He's here. Yeah. That's buried over there. In that. Behind us. Yeah, with that, the one that's yeah. with the only. Yes, he's here. Oh, he's here. Hello. Are now, you... close it and reset for us. <clears throat> Just reset him. Reset him. That's it. Beautiful. Oh, so, oh, look at that. That's yeah. perfect. So, he's here. Are there more prisoners here? Cross for yes. Uh, cross for no or open for yes. Is there more prisoners or are you the only one? Really concentrate. No. So he's the only one. At the moment, At yeah. At the moment. Yeah. So um, I was, I was, you, know, you need to, I was getting you to be more specific because they come and go. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Bring him back there. I've got a question. Um, yeah, just go wait for the reset. Go, 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 go. This one's for you. Um, for a, cross them for no and open them up for yes. Are you annoyed that you were the only one that got a headstone? Headstone. 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 Head, yeah, headstone, yeah. No. No, he's not annoyed that he's the only one. Okay. Are you happy that we're here trying to communicate with you? Cross them for no, and open them right up for yes. I think that would I be I think that's a yes. yes, yeah. Reset them for us, thank you. We really appreciate it. I've got one more question. Was it you that gave the vision to Marnie about the 40 plus one plus one? Was it you that done it? Cross them for no, or open them right up for yes? Was it you that gave Marnie her vision? Really focus. Open them right up for yes, yes. or cross them over for no. <laughs> wow, that's, that's wow. pretty cool. Thanks, Thank you. Thank Let you very much. Us, mate. Thank you very much. And last question we're going to ask you, mate. Just close them up. Set, reset them for us, please. Would you like us all to come back again in the future to visit you? Open for yes, close for no. Would you like us to come back and visit you again and talk with you? Really focus. Really focus, mate. I would say that would be a firm yeah, yes. Yeah, a firm yes, look at that. Beautiful. So what we'll do, mate, is we'll come back and visit you in the future and have a chat. You can relax now, Marnie, that's yep. great. These are cool. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. yeah, they're good, eh? I've so what did you think? I've used those before, that's really cool. But you can actually feel what's you, going on. I'm... You can, can't you feel? You can feel when they're yeah, being I'm tapped. Like, I'm like soaked in sweat. Oh, you can no, feel when they're being tapped, like when yeah, they're yeah, being yeah. manipulated. Yeah, you can, can, yeah. And you, like before when, when you asked, I can't remember what it was, and I was like, yeah, to the left. I knew it was, I just knew mm -hmm. it was going to go that way. Oh, that's when I asked, where yeah. are you standing? Yeah, yeah, where are you standing, yeah. Okay, guys, that was the investigation tonight. What did you think, Dan? Mate, absolutely brilliant. And to get that confirmation of the 40 plus one plus one, yeah. just, I've got no words for it. Absolutely brilliant.
The interesting, interesting thing about that too is that not only did we get that confirmation, but we also got the confirmation of the spirit moving. Yeah. Where you directed us, in a way, to more activity. So yeah. that was phenomenal. Yeah. What did you think of your experience with us tonight, Marnie? Um, awesome. Uh, it's not very often that you'll get such a, a loud confirmation. Yes. You know what I mean? Like you, you can have these things and ideas and different perceptions mm. come through, but to actually get that confirmation and to have us in that place and, and to have come Being in there. right at the yeah. exact right time yeah. and she yeah. just happens to be a historian and yeah. she, she starts telling the story and I can just I can still feel that just you know, what did you say? That was amazing. So <laughs> you know guys, cool. it's been yeah. awesome. So there's that going on and then you know I've used a new piece of equipment and Yeah. I've yep. never been here before, so yeah. it's, it's good to it's try out the dowsing rods yeah. that you really enjoyed. It's which all is just great. good stuff, really. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> what we so, might do, guys, um, if you guys enjoy this video, we might get Marnie out on a few more investigations. What do you think? Bro? Yeah, mate, definitely. Yeah, if she's up for it, we'll get her out on a few different ones for sure. Definitely, yeah. yeah. We'll I take her out more. Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> But what we want you guys to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with all your mates. And uh, on that note, we'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys. Bye.